Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I looked at Planet Dune. And this 2021 film was directed by Glenn Campbell and Tammy Klein, and stars Emily Killian, Cherish Holland, and others. The story of this one is about this hotshot pilot who has disobeyed orders one too many times. And so as punishment, she is sent on a rescue mission with little chance of return. So they send her to Planet Dune, where there are some scientists that need rescuing. So she lands in the desert and finds some scientists still alive, but she also finds giant worms. What will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. Alright, so what works with this film? Well, this is an asylum film, so they do make mockbusters. And this is a mockbuster of the recently released Dune. And I gotta say, with a little bit of imagination, you can pretend it's in the same universe. It's just like the, the first time anyone's ever landed on the, the Dune planet before, you know, the spice is discovered. So it's kind of like their um, exploratory mission. And so that's pretty cool. All of the worms kind of function in the same way. So it just gave it a little bit of extra something that I really did enjoy. In addition, I gotta say the CGI is really good in this one. You know, with Asylum, they're not really known for their CGI. And so this is higher quality than normal. Also, it stays on the screen for quite a while. So that is unusual for Asylum to do. So definitely great job on the CGI. And lastly, I really did enjoy the characters. They have quite a bit of depth to them. The main character, she is always trying to save people, even though it often, you know, conflicts with her orders. And so that's a really good characteristic to see. She also turns out to be a moonshiner who makes alcohol in her backpack, and that's quite funny as well. So there's lots of good characters in this one. So yeah, good characters across the board. In addition, you know, this is a B-movie, so they have some B-movie, you know, tropes and, and trickery with the camera work as well. And I always enjoy that stuff. I'm always interested in how people get around having a low budget. For example, you know, they have this like giant hole in the ground and they never show them like or shoot them at least with the hole and the characters in the same uh, shot. It's always the characters and you're just supposed to believe that they're standing next to it. Like it's just cuts them off at their knees. And so things like that, you know, I always enjoy it. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm a strange guy, but I always enjoy this, these B-movie things that show up all the time in Asylum films. All right, so what doesn't work with this film? Well, the first 20 minutes, oh man, they're, they're pretty bad. They're, they have some terrible acting in the first 20 minutes. It does get better once they get to the planet and, you know, charisma kind of shoots up at that point. I couldn't really put my finger on it, but in the first 20 minutes, um, I don't think anybody's eyebrows moved. Like, they're all trying to be very expressive on their face, but they never move their eyebrows, and all of the characters do it. I really... It really was noticeable to me. I, I, I couldn't stand it. Um, also, their makeup in the first 20 minutes is just like caked onto their face. They have like way too much foundation on. So I don't know what that's about. But um, like I said, it does get better. Just man, those first 20 minutes can be painful. And that brings me to who I would recommend this movie for. Well, I think if you're a sci-fi fan, you can definitely check this one out. No problem. If you're a fan of the Dune books or movies or whatever, and you can check this one out, I would say. Like I said, with a little bit of imagination, you can pretend it's in-universe. If you're a fan of Asylum films, definitely check this one out. I'll say it's above average for an Asylum film, for sure. As for a rating, I'm going to give it, better than average, 5.6. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.